Seven rounds down and all teams have faced off against each other. Let's see what happened with the fresh 92-7 SRL weekly recap. On Sunday afternoon, Eels 1 defeated Roosters White 36-6 at Victoria Park. The opening minutes of the game saw a close contest with both teams' defence holding strong. It was second rower Dalray Rui crossed the line in the ninth minute to open the scoring. The momentum stayed with the Eels who attacked at every opportunity, scoring a further three tries before half time. The Roosters got on the scoreboard moments into the second half through front rower Stefano Siania. However, Eels recovered through attacking play by 5'8 Fred William and halfback Michael Lowry. Best on ground was awarded to Eels Fred William for his strong attacking game. Uh, you had a good win today, 36 to 6. Lots of running and kicking today. Uh, how are you feeling about your performance? Oh, I feel really good. Um, first time playing fullback as well, just playing with the team. Uh, I found really good, actually. Thanks. Uh, so you're going to be playing state next week. State, yeah, state Any state. other boys um, from your team in it? Yes, nine of us are play for the state team, and uh, and and plus it's my first time in the state team as well. I represent. Style Australia has be good. Also at Victoria Park, Henley Raiders defeated South Adelaide Bulldogs 46 to 14. Henley opened the scoring two minutes into the game through lock Danny Black, then scored two more tries through 5'8 Alani Nah and centre Warren Moore before South crossed the try line. Leading 22-8 at half time, Henley continued to attack, scoring another four tries in the second half, including one from a 30 metre sprint by halfback Hare Tumai. The West End Man of the Match was awarded to Henley 5'8", Alani Nah, who scored two tries and had multiple assists. Alright, we are here for the Sports Centre Round 7 match between Henley and South Adelaide. We have fullback Luke Chant here for the 92.7 Fresh FM interview. How did you go today? Yeah, the boys played well. Uh, good win. Um, hopefully we can back it up next week. And you scored one try, so your game personally? Yeah, played alright. Uh, just the one try today, but I'll take it. And who from uh, South stood out to you? South, uh, probably their halfback. He, he went pretty well. Um, I think he scored as well, their first try. Scored one out of two tries, so he did pretty well. And so you've got a, a fair few players in the state games next weekend. Are you going to go out and watch? Uh, no, nah, I'll be away next week, but um, good luck to the boys. There's a few, I think we've got about five or six in the side, so they should do pretty well. Thank you very much. Meanwhile at Hanson Reserve, Eels 2 defeated Woodville Panthers 42-22 in a competitive contest that saw scores level 14 all at half time. Eels lifted in the second half using pace to break through the Panthers defensive line and score 28 points to Panthers 8. TEC Titans forfeited, giving the Roosters Blue a 20 nil win. With seven rounds down, the latter saw no change from round six, with Eels 1 still gripping to the top spot and Roosters Blue right on their tail with one match against the Panthers still to come. Next week, there are no rounds for the Sports Centre Cup as we head to Cooper's Stadium for the NRL Affiliated States Championships. Watch as South Australia take on the Victorian, WA and Northern Territory sides in seniors, women's and under 18s. Visit the SRL website to find out game times and how you can help support SA. I'm Emma Open. you've been watching the Fresh 92.7 SRL Weekly Recap.